Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Surviving Mars Green Planet. This is Gaming and Chill with Tommy. And we will be working on terraforming the planet further. Um, we will also be working on the milestones over here with the terraforming progress and constructing a capital city as well as reaching all sponsor goals 40 percent workers in workshops not yet but maybe after we have the capital city and all these terraforming objectives we are looking very much forward to it we seem to have a decent amount of vegetation over here in the valley um so yeah i'm excited to get started Grab a cup of coffee or tea, whatever you enjoy, sit back and have fun. So we're going to put um, one more forestation plant just over here to cover this gap. We need a seeds depot next to it and a desired amount of 10. Lovely. Let's get the time started. Um, what I'm going to do now is just fill up this entire upper plateau with forestation plants. <clears throat> so let's see how that goes. Um, put one over here, one over here. Oh, what do we have here? We've discovered the remains of a crashed rocket at the expedition location. The rocket has smashed uh, with its nose into the ground, leaving miles long trail behind before the red sand and rocks quenched the immense force of its inertia. The hull is damaged and twisted beyond recognition, rendering all attempts to identify the vehicle useless. No information can be found about the crash on any international flight, flight records either. We can order the hull to be investigated, but the only way to proceed is to cut through it with blowtorches, which could be dangerous in case there are any dangerous substances or remaining fuel on board. Yeah, why not investigate? We've gained building prefabs. Nice. Okay. Resources are low. Over here. Two thousand years later. We will salvage this one RC Explorer. We'll land here. And you have ten passengers. Um I guess you could just land over here. Now let's see about those seeds depots. Three thousand years later. There we go. Do we need any more? Oh yes, we do. Around in this general area. One eternity later. There we go. That should cover it. Now I'm just going to need to make sure that we have drone commanders covering all of them. I'm looking so much forward to having everything nice and green on Mars. Now we have a prefab drone hub. Perfect. We will cover you as well. 
over you over here. sure uh, which particular way we are going to expand in order to build our capital city but um, in any case resources are low where are you oh We will build our capital city as well pretty soon. Resources are low. here no there you go and over here you can just grab the electricity from this guy research complete oh how convenient Yes, please, Russia. We have um, minus 23 on water. Now we have a decent amount of polymers, so I'll just upgrade everything with hydroscopic coating. coating. That should help quite a lot. Otherwise, we'll build more. Why not? Yes, we didn't place electronic storage over here, did we now? Um, electronics. And do we have a machine parts factory in here? No. But we do in here, both electronics Funny and receiving. machine parts, which means... We will need electronics and machine parts. There we go. Meteor incoming. Lovely. You, um, Go for the last anomaly, send expedition. You go for some more um, ice meteors, whatever. only need um, electronics what are these um, what are these requiring maintenance I mean polymers okay you have polymers and electronics and metals Here we go. There you 
encore. Lovely. What do we have here? The expedition was sent to investigate a spectrographic trace of rich metals deposit, but found something much more interesting and troubling. After climbing the slope of a huge crater, we have faced an astonishing sight. Down below, we saw the remains of a facility, clearly man-made. The dust didn't manage to hide the rocket landing pads, the spherical um, concrete buildings, and what's most disturbing, the large portholes on the ground, which resemble rocket silos too much to be sure. Um, Approach the facilities and investigate. We approached a mysterious facility with apprehension, but nothing bad happened. It appears that the location had been abandoned decades ago. The facility has been picked almost clean, but there are still traces of evidence um, what happened here. People lived here and research was conducted. The silos are empty, but there are signs uh, that at least two of the five hosted nuclear devices. The labs are in the most amazing part of the facility. Most of the equipment and the computer systems were too heavy and unwieldy to be moved out of the planet. A new breakthrough tech has become available. So let's check that out right after we put the pipes in for this bad boy. Funding received. And electricity, just in case it's needed. There we go. What are you? Oh, you're a rock. Okay. Uh, we are going to send you over here to this anomaly. Any other anomalies? No, not that we can see right now, at least. There's a um, very nice lake over here. There. Mars in flames. Alarms follow the series of explosions throughout the colony. The ground is shaking and the people look in terror and uncertainty towards the horizon as uh, the black columns of smoke quickly rise towards the bleak skies. You don't need to look there to know what's going on. Damage and casualty report says everything. You can't shake the feeling that this is somehow related to the recent activities of your expedition team. The punitive sabotage strike was destroyed, has destroyed five buildings, 10 colonists have died, and 35 have been injured. All right then. What are we going to do about this? A colonist has died. Inconvenient. But rebuild. All right. Another one. The arcology. Come on. Playground. Some random stuff that's been destroyed, isn't it? Yes. We have a bunch of lakes, which is nice. Uh, everything looks so lovely. Let's um, put another drone hub in here. Go. Analyzed. 
let's start flattening this area. Funding received. Flatten over here. We have the space elevator exporting rare metals. Let's see. You're good. Yes, please do. else do we have here I mean we could technically yeah let's let's try making something interesting over here um where are we drone hub over here over here here let's try that for now uh, we are going to try to make a interesting oasis over here there we go have some power cables funding received and let's try to flatten just a bit of this area, not all of it. We go. We have here seven passengers. There we are. Fifty electronics. We'll get a bunch of concrete. That's okay. Let's see. Anything that we need to build over here? You can go ahead and build this one. We have enough materials. This one is good. Amplify it. Feel free to. Um, you guys will also get amplified, all of you. Um, GHG factories, where are they? Amplify, all of them. And... Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no vegetation spreading in this particular area. There we go. We have captured some more ice asteroids. We are gaining a lot of water. We are almost at 
We are offering a bit of concrete for a bit of food, large scale excavation, the excavator. That is perfectly fine. We will just put it over here. Um, is it among the wonders? Yeah, the excavator. Can we just even out the train, please? Yeah, there you go. Lovely. Go for it. Funding received. Resources are low. We will have to put some universal depots next to these guys, because otherwise they will not have the resources. There we go. And there we go. Construction in progress. Seeds need to be distributed. Shuttle hubs. Um, you can have more shuttles. Where are the other shuttle hubs? I cannot recall. There's one down here. You can have more shuttles. There's one up here. There we go. And I believe there should be one over here as well. There we go. Fantastic. You do not have electricity. What happened over here? Can you guys not just do that? Thank you. You don't have electricity. How did that happen? Funding received. Anyway, you'll just stop extracting because there's no particular need for that anymore. We have a uh, humongous amount of money um the space elevator we are just going to take some more metals in there we go and we are going to buy another rocket or two you will bring us some more machine parts launch and we will get another rocket you will bring us some more metals yay and then we can send them off on expeditions for example launching the space mirror yes please we have a delivery on the space elevator and this one.
we'll do a high speed com satellite right now. No, actually, we will do this. There you go. We have a delivery on the space elevator. couple of electronics factories over here so we are going to dismantle this depot and build this one thank you we do have a bunch of waste rock and thank you and that was it for this particular episode um i am very very proud and satisfied of what we've achieved until now look at that that is beginning to look like something really nice and now i am uh, not exactly clear about what i'm doing with the camera settings anyway Here you go. What a lovely setup. Anyway, next episode we will continue boosting. Hopefully we're getting closer to 100%. As soon as the vegetation reaches 40%, which it will pretty soon now, we are advancing 0.5 per soul. Um, we will start the seed vegetation projects uh, on a global scale we will uh, in fact research them because we haven't researched it yet they are right over here and that will unlock cloud seeding which we can use to boost the vegetation of the planet lovely now thank you very much for watching give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and see you next time